Hello, I'm Dr. Rosemary Francis, Chief Scientist here at Altair, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to run Jupyter Notebooks on PBS Professional via our user portal, Altair Access. PBS Professional makes it easy to run AI and machine learning workloads like Jupyter Notebook in containers. The built-in containerized support is something I've discussed in earlier videos, and so if you want more detail in, on that, please check them out. The integrated support means that you don't need to modify your workloads once they've been containerized. There's no Docker run command. All of that is built into PBS. We support single and multi-node jobs. GPU hardware acceleration is important in machine learning, and we have extensive GPU and NUMA support within PBS Professionals. So your workloads are run on the correct device with local memory allocation. One of the most important aspects of the integration between containers and PBS Professional is the security and administration. So users don't need to be root in order to run their containerized workload. Administrators can set access control for storage, for container images, and for user credentials. We also have the facility to whitelist specific options so that users can pass in the options that they need without having access to all command line arguments. And finally, port mapping is an important part of the integration so that web interfaces such as those that, that are part of Jupyter Notebook and TensorBoard just work out of the box. We're now going to see a demo of how that's put together. We're going to use PBS Professional for the container orchestration. We're going to use Altair Access for job submission. The job is going to be a Jupyter Notebook that has been containerized, and we're going to use GPU hardware acceleration. My colleague Bala is driving this demo, and so he's going to log in through the Altair Access user portal. We're now going to run a new job, and we're going to select Jupyter Notebooks from the set of predefined application profiles. We're going to select the iWork queue to be the PBS professional queue to run this workload on. And we're going to leave the rest of the settings as default. So this workload is going to use one GPU and two CPU cores with four gigabytes of memory. So now that job has been submitted, you can see on the right that the job is running on the PBS cluster. And on the bottom right, you can see the container image running also. The Jupyter application profile has been set up with a custom action that will provide the custom URL needed to open the Jupyter Notebook web interface. This makes it easy to connect to your job once it's been run through Alta Access. Now we're looking at the Jupyter Notebook web interface and we can start to run experiments and plot the results. Thank you for listening.